Today we want to talk about a series of workshops that we have coming up through the city, uh, government contract readiness workshops that we're doing in partnership with the Procurement Technical Assistance Center of the South Carolina Small Business Development Center. And we have a great collaborative partnership going on with PTAC. And we have Mr. Scott Bellows here who's going to tell us a little bit about what PTAC means and what kind of services you offer. The intent is to help businesses, both small and large, that want to sell to the government. And the underlying motive, if you're wondering, is to increase competition. And of course, more competition means lower prices, generally speaking. And it also helps to preserve America's industrial infrastructure. So there's kind of the, there is a rationale behind there for the way your taxpayer dollars are being used. What I find is the people that go through the learning curve of learning to do government contracting, it becomes more and more and more significant. And some, that's almost all they do, which is not advisable, yeah. but that's, yeah. that's what they do. That's very inter interesting that you mentioned that. Is it, it is very, very important that they diversify their revenue sources. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we talk to our small business community about constantly, is not to depend on local government for your revenue, not to just depend on state government for your sources of revenue, or the federal government. One of the reasons that we started or we wanted to do this uh, workshop series was to help those small businesses do just what you said. In my position, quite often I'll find contractors that come in and their mindset is very much of, look, at, I've tried this, uh -huh. I've put in dozens of bids, I've gotten nowhere, Exactly. it's, um, it's a closed door, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but uh -huh. maybe you can explain it to me. And there is a lot more to being a successful contractor than simply filling in a low price. But a lot also has to do with understanding the competition, understanding what the government actually is trying to accomplish, understanding the different tools that the government uses to buy goods. What I'm trying to do with both of those sessions is to tell people there are avenues you can take that are going to increase your probability of getting a contract. Um, the last one deals with um, uh, working with prime contractors, often as a subcontractor, and there are things that small businesses can do. One of those are teaming agreements where they can mm -hmm. get together with other small businesses and by combining their resources, they de facto become a larger business. You know, they, yeah. they, they can challenge the larger businesses, if you will. Um, and so that's, that's what we're trying to do is, is teach them how they can become more competitive in the bid process. Tools that they can use on all levels mm -hmm. of government, which is great. We have these series coming up and we want you to participate. If you're out there, if you have a good or a service to provide to local, state, or federal government, come enjoy these workshops. They're free open to the public, and as he said, please utilize PTAC. It's a great organization. Um, it's not, not, not a lot of people know about it, I don't think. They're, they're uh, no. learning more about it now as we're talking about it, but I think we're helping you all put the word out there. We want more people to utilize your service. Oh, we really you. do. We really do. 